the special report, I'm Sam Ryan. We have sad news to pass along as Hall of Famer Ernie Banks has passed away at the age of 83. Banks was a 14-time All-Star with over 500 home runs, and his 277 home runs as a shortstop remains a National League record. Here now is Greg Amsinger with more on the life and the career of Mr. Cub. My kind of town, Chicago is the Wrigley Building. Chicago is my kind of town that won't let you down. It's my kind of town. There has never been a man more synonymous with one franchise than Ernie Banks with the Chicago Cubs. He spent his entire 19-year career in Chicago, earning the nickname Mr. Cub. Ernie Banks, born on January 31st, 1931 in Dallas, Texas, broke into professional baseball in 1950 in the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs. Three years later, he'd make his major league debut for the Cubs, becoming the first African-American to play for the franchise. The following season in 1954, in his first full season, Banks finished second in voting for the National League Rookie of the Year. That was just the beginning. I don't know that anybody hit the ball like Ernie did. We had great wrists, and if you threw him anything low, you know, he could hit it out of the ballpark. Well hit, way back, line drive, it is a home run for the Banks. Banks broke the 40 home run mark in five of his next six seasons, the most torrid power stretch of his career, one of which he hammered a total of 248 home runs, nearly half of his career total of 512. It's not enough to say Banks won National League MVP honors in 1958 and 1959. The award signified that Banks beat out Hank Aaron and Willie Mays in the prime of their careers. In the first half of Banks' career, which he played at shortstop, there were few players in history that could be ranked higher than him at any position. Hey, hey, holy mackerel, no doubt about it, the Cubs are on their way. Hey, hey, hey! Throughout the 14-time All-Stars career, the Cubs were rarely in postseason contention. In fact, at times they were so bad, former Major Leaguer Jimmy Dykes reportedly claimed that without Banks, the Cubs would finish in Albuquerque. That's the fly ball, he's the left, Hawk, back, that's it, that's it, hey, hey, he did it, Ernie Banks, got number 500. Banks retired in 1971 after serving as a player coach for the last few seasons of his career. He holds the Major League record for games played without a postseason appearance, 2,528. He was retained as a coach with the Cubs through 1973. We got the set in. Sunshine, fresh air. We got the team behind us. So, let's play too. Banks was elected into the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility in 1977. In 1982, the Cubs officially retired as number 14 to the Raptors Banks described as the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. And in 1999, he was elected to Major League Baseball's All-Century Team. He delighted Cubs fans with his 512 home runs, steady fielding, cheerful approach to the game, two-time MVP. Hey, let's play two, Ernie Banks. In 2008, just outside of Wrigley Field, the Cubs unveiled a statue of the most popular and beloved figure in the history of the Chicago Cubs franchise, Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks. In Banks' 19-year career, he was a two-time NL MVP in 1958 and 1959. He hit 512 home runs with five seasons of 40 or more. The 14-time All-Star winning the Gold Glove at shortstop in 1960. He led the National League in games six times, four times in extra base hits, and twice in home runs and RBIs. Banks was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1977. This from the chairman of the Cubs, Tom Ricketts. Words cannot express how important Ernie Banks will always be to the Chicago Cubs, the city of Chicago, and Major League Baseball. He was one of the greatest players of all time. He was a pioneer in the major leagues. And more importantly, he was the warmest and most sincere person I've ever known. Ernie Banks is and always will be a Cub. And this tweet from Cubs first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Mr. Cub, what you have done for the game of baseball, the city of Chicago, and everyone you've ever touched will never be forgotten. 
rest in peace. Once again, Hall of Famer Ernie Banks has passed away at the age of 83.